All right, this one is your last chapter, another very, very small chapter for you, and we are going to get into vibrations. Again, on mostly definitions, yeah, concept only, no calculations, so pretty good, uh, easy for you, yeah. Um, all right, we study vibration because our earth, it vibrates, yeah, sometimes, and when the earth vibrates, you got earthquake, and earthquakes are not very good because they destroy so many things that we have already built, yeah. And that's a lot of money, billions of money, depends on the intensity of the earthquake. So therefore, the understanding of how uh, the motion, this motion, which is your vibration, uh, works. Uh, so we can be able to strengthen our building to be able to withstand these uh, uh, earthquakes, okay? which, which is the vibration of the, of the earth or the ground. Of course, in Japan, um, in Japan, um, yeah, that's where you. Yeah? Uh, Japan is an island, so it's also situated like right above the volcanoes or lines in the ocean. So they have to, yeah, study vibration, you know, seriously in their university. So when they build their cities, yeah, uh, and their cities actually standing on a very small amount of land by the way so and also there's a big vibration like the earthquakes are all the time yeah under the oceans um so they have to study vibration seriously and they are actually guru yeah uh, japanese are the guru of the vibration study by the way so they can be able to build all kinds of building that stay you know a long time um uh, and also be able to withstand these uh, earth shakes, yeah, uh, movement of the earth, which are which are your earthquakes. So anyway, some of the intensity are very very bad, very high. So in that case, uh, you can't be able to, uh, you know, your buildings, everything that you build cannot be able to uh, withstand uh, that amount of force, yeah, earthquake or vibration. So anyway, so we can do, yeah. Um, uh, the best we can to um, protect, you know, protect our cities and the towns and the buildings from the natural cause uh, forces, and one of them is vibrations. So let's uh, get into it and see. Not necessary to go into any details here. If you can get again uh, some of the uh, definition and you can be able to define it. In your own words, you're fine. Yeah, the very first thing uh, you need to know about vibration is the first type, which is your undumped free vibration. So you have to know what that is. So let's see. So vibration meaning like uh, your body is moving. Yeah, but then it it's not moving like our regular motion outside. Yeah, it, not the whole motion. It just is shaking. Yeah, back and forth like that. So. So you're shaking back and forth, you have a you have an unshaken position, which is your uh, equilibrium, yeah? So your equi if your equilibrium is here in this situation here with a spring right there, you can see that it can go, this yeah, body can go back and forth like that, okay? Away from the equilibrium where the balance is. So you can become off balance. As soon as you become off balance, you're going to move away from that uh, equilibrium. Um, that is vibration. So vibration is oscillation motion because it goes back and back and forth, back and forth like elastic, yeah, which is your spring constant here showing you. So oscillating motion of a body, and this body can be a system, yeah, systems or connected bodies, because uh, so many things, you know, uh, in the world are connected. Your entire system inside is also connected, yeah. Um, and so the systems, the connected bodies, displace from the position of equilibrium. Yeah, don't think like the stuff inside of our body; uh, they don't vibrate. They do. Okay, they, you have vibrate. You have a brain vibrations. Your brain cells move. Yeah, and uh, move back and forth uh, from the equilibrium point. You can study uh, so many things from small body all the way to big giant bodies. Yeah. 
your space also vibrate. You know, we call it the fabric of the universe, the fabric of the space. They they sometimes go in wave, and they sometimes go in oscillation like that. Yeah. So uh, I want you to get this definition and know that what vibration is. Okay. Then we're gonna get into the first type, which is your free vibration and dumped. So you have two major types of vibration. One is a free, and the other one is forced. Okay. Uh, free means it's happening on its own. Force me. There's something that is going to cause that vibration. Okay, so your free vibration, yeah, and formally, uh, if we get defined it formally, that's when your the motion is maintained. Okay, so you have a motion uh, by gravitational or elastic restoration forces. Again, your force is gravitation force, yeah, or elastic restoration force like that. And here, giving you the examples such as a swinging motion of a pendulum or the vibration of electric, yeah, elastic uh, rod, like that, and we call that the free vibration. So know that your free vibration is going to happen when you have the motion, and that motion is maintained by gravitational or elastic restoration forces. Okay. Now, force vibration is going to cause by external again something else is going to come across that vibration so external periodic or intermittent okay force applied to that system that you're studying okay so you do have external force and that's why we call it force vibration okay force on the system and the system vibrate and we call that the force vibration so both of these types of vibration can either be dumped or undumped. Okay, undumped vibrations. Um, another thing that you definitely need to get undumped vibration is going to exclude the frictional yeah, effects in the analysis because in reality you have internal and external frictional forces. Yeah, uh, they're there. You cannot get rid of them. They're just there. And in real life, and the motion of all vibrating bodies. Is actually dumped okay so make sure you understand what is dumped and what is and dumped and dumped try to get it as easy as possible it's like without the frictional effects dumped you have the frictional effects okay definitely you need to get this you know the very first slide here vibration two types yeah and uh, your your frictional forces that you 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 take into account or not is going to uh, define vibration into another two types okay free vibration forced vibration you have dumped vibration with frictions and undumped vibrations okay that's all you have to get and the rest of them it isn't necessary yeah so just go down if you want to read you can read it if you don't want to read don't read it procedure analysis we do the same thing we use the free body diagram we come into equation of motion like as always kinematics we understand energy yeah uh, you have already learned uh, the conservation of energy between the kinetic and the uh, potential energy. Yeah, your elastic and inelastic uh, situations. Yeah, all of that. Uh, just keep. And then we go into small changes. Yeah, uh, not necessary. Just read one time. And uh, here, I definitely want you to. I already told you in the very first slide. I want you to get the definition of this and dump the force on vibration. You can be, you should be able to uh, uh, define it by yourself in your own words, okay? Why? Because of the and dumped, uh, yeah, forced vibration, and dumped forced vibration is very important in our field. It's because we use it all the time, yeah? So for many different types of machines and the structure, yeah? Then we go down, 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 down. 
down, 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 all the way down. Yeah. This is just for you to uh, read uh, viscous. Yeah. Dumped free vibration. You need to know this. Again, just the concept, definition. So vibration analysis is going to consider. Yeah. We uh, we don't really think about the friction. Yeah. In undumped. Of course, when you deal with the dumped again you are dealing with the friction yeah free is free of course but dealing with only the gravitational force or the uh, uh, elastic restoration force yeah for vi uh, for vibration and viscous is another thing that you have to understand because you're dealing with the friction yeah so viscous damped free vibration And viscous, when you deal with viscousness, so you will go back to your chemistry and physics again. You're dealing with um, the, the, the vibration, yeah, um, in solutions, okay? Uh, because viscosity is another type that you can be able to study when the uh, solution meaning like there is stuff in some form of uh, liquid yeah or fluid um some contents with some form of fluid or liquid at that kind of condition um you can be able to get uh, some form of vibration yeah it depends on the friction and that's what we're talking about yeah this type of vibration so viscous solution Dumped their frictions free gravitation or the elastic restoration force, the type, yeah, this type of vibration. At least you have to be able to get that, yeah. All right, and then we go in, not necessary, I'm not going to ask you any of it. Another definition viscous damped, all right, forced vibration. This time, the difference is only force, not free, yeah? If that's force, again, you're dealing with the external force. You're not only purely gravitational or purely uh, elastic restoration force, yeah? You have a distinct external force in that system, and it will vibrate. If this gets still dealing with the solution, damped, still dealing with the uh, frictional forces, okay? And then the external, on top of that, you're dealing with the external force. Okay. Damping me, uh, you're dealing with the frictions. Okay, and then you go down. Yeah. These are all the heavy calculations. I don't want you to look at it. Um, electric circuit analog is not necessary. That will take care. Um, the electronic classes is going to take care of this. Yeah. So now we come to the chapter review. Definitely need to know the undumped free vibration definition. Energy, it's just a review, yeah. Uh, your energy conservation between the kinetic and the potential. Just review your uh, previous eight chapters, the more important ones, yeah. Um, undumped force vibration definition, please um, get that. Viscous damped free vibration, I want you to get the definition. Viscous damp forced vibration, also definition. Okay, electrical circuit analog. We don't need it. Okay, that's it for this chapter. Pretty sweet here. Yeah? So the last three chapters is uh, just giving you a bonus. By the way, it's not really necessary. So yeah, pretty. Uh, you can be able to complete it in like in one or two days. Yeah, that's it.